Welcome everybody. Good morning. How's everyone doing? Thanks MP for your donation. I appreciate you. MP, can I get a sound check? Hey Daniel, what's up? Hey Facebook, YouTube, how's it going? We got a special treat for you right now. We got a multi poo. She definitely looks super matted, so it's gonna be an interesting grooming. Uh, whew, I'm looking at her like, what, what? So our first uh, groom was 9 September 2022. September, October, November, December, January, February. So it's been five months. Five months. And our first grooming was the pet did not, uh, okay, hold on. So the back, the back story is the, pe the clients did not like to go to PetSmart. Um, they, I met the person in Home Depot shopping. <laughs> and uh, at the time, the gentleman actually worked there. The pet then was matted. Uh, I had to do a seven all over. 10 ears, seven top of ears, and four guard down teddy bear head. Um, gentle bath did not try to bite, was very good. Cone head needed for matted toes, digits. I did clean feet and clean face. Said they would start to use distilled water for the eye staining area. I can tell you right now that's not true. There, it's, you'll see in a second. And they said they would start washing face daily, and I'm, whoa. We'll see now. Um, what do I mean? I, I, it's not good or bad. I'm not doing that. I'm just saying I wrote this stuff down. So when we have a tear stains, one of the things that some people have told me, thank you, MP, one of the things that clients have told me or friends or other groomers or people that are, well, I'm stuttering, but what I mean is sometimes if you wash their face every day, well, I wash my doodle, who is pure white, right? She, what they call is, um, it's not white, but she's cream. And she's white, right? She's really white. So, so is my boy doodle. And do, they do not have tear staining. They're two, over two years old now. So why? Like, what am I doing that you're not doing for, for eye stain and tear stains? I sell tear stain removal. If you don't use it every day, it probably ain't gonna work. It's a pad, right? They have stuff you put in the water. A veterinarian told me, hey, if there's stuff that you put in the water, that he didn't recommend me buying it to resell it. A good friend of mine uh, who is a veterinarian, he's like, anything a dog is consuming every day is not good in the long run. So having to put this, whatever it is in their water every day or a pill every day for, to do something to the body so that tear stains change, tears change, is in the long run, 15 years of it doing it every day is not good for the body is what, a veterinarian told me and so I was like okay I'm not gonna carry that if someone asks for me for it from it for me for it for from me right uh, I would refer them but I won't carry it because it's not something I would do with my pets so if you have a lot of tear stains my Shih Tzu's at the time my mom taught me because I was in the Air Force and she her my dad babysat my two dogs when I went to Guam because Guam quarantine would kill a dog Four months of a four by four kennel cube outside, not inside, outside in this area. It would just kill a dog. It's like basically don't bring your dogs to Guam. It's maybe changed today, but it wasn't something I was willing to do for my, I think at the time, two year old Shih Tzus. I'm like, no. And so my parents babysat my dogs for a year and a half while I was in Guam, stationed in Guam, and my mom washed my dog's faces every day. She didn't, she maybe light soap, maybe dub soap, but nothing, just soap, just water, just water and a towel every day, clean towel, change your towel every two days. Just, my mom is clean, girl, she clean. And she washed her face every day, the leakage of any kind stopped. And for the rest of their life, they did not have leaky eyes. So I recommend that you do the same thing. It's, it's tedious. We're lazy, humans get lazy, Con uh, content, getting home, jumping on the TV, getting in that recliner, jumping in bed, watching other people work hard. Stop, get up every night before bed, every morning before you walk out of the house, you have to wipe faces, period. So wipe their faces every day and see in about six months if you actually see a difference, but you must be consistent. So we're gonna see today, it's like, whoa, it's been five months since our last groom, which was our first groom here, and I, I don't like them coming in matted like this. This is a lot of work, it's a lot of time, it's hard on the dog. I don't care how nice the dog is, it's hard. So let's get to it. Hopefully that wipe, wipe, wipe and wash in the face just with simple water and towel if you do it every day. But he, I said, if you wanna do it and test it for me, do distilled water every day in six months, let me know. Take your pictures. 
Study yourself. Study your, analyze and study your household, yourself, you know? And then come back and be like, here's the proof. It did work. Here's the proof. It didn't work. All right. Let's go get our baby. Her name is Marley. And uh, I'll double check the age right now. Oh, my gosh. Is that Buffet? Hey, puppy. Miss you. Okay, remember, going out there, uh, what I like to do is wear gloves so that I can get started. And I need to double check where, oh, I, I left my mask. So I need to get a mask.
y'all ready for this? This is gonna be insane, bro. This is gonna be it. This is gonna be insane. <laughs> this is so crazy. Okay, all right, let's do this. All right, uh, whoo. Then we're praying, we're talking to God, we're thinking about what we're gonna do, we're gonna make sure we got everything going on here. We're gonna do this, okay, we're gonna put that there. Okay. Woo, woo, let's just go do it. We just gotta get throw it down. Let's throw it down. <laughs> okay. Beaten fast, so is mine. Okay. So we talked to pet parents, and I said, "Hey, I, I can give you a different rate, but you have to come monthly, okay? And you gotta brush every day if you're gonna have a poodle of any kind. So brush every day, and that's tough. So don't brush every day. Let me do all the work. Are you that tall? We're gonna have some issues. There's something that has to go down. Down here." She's tall, huh? <laughs> I'll do that. I wrote notes that she did really good, but five months is how long in, a, in the human world? How, five months is how long, people? Do the math. If one year is seven years, five months is what? Two and a half years? Three years. Ooh. Ooh, look at you, girl. Ooh, everyone just breathing hard right now? Okay, I, I'm having fun with it. I really am. It's okay. We're, we're going to get this taken care of. And, uh, oh, goodness. I just, you know, I told them I'm very honest, uh, honest to a fault, but this is a lot. I mean, I said, I, I don't know if it's budget or time or what, but they haven't been in since September. I said this already in the very beginning of the video, is that if you can't come in, we need to work something out where you can I would rather do something, 30, give you 30 minutes of my time than to have you have to wait five months to get in, but we have a really hard groom, okay? So work and talk to your groomers. Maybe they'll do the same thing. We're all in a, we're all, girl, I'm broke, you know? I'm, I'm working hard because I have to. But everyone's broke then, potentially. Potentially everyone's broke. So if that's the case, we should all be helping each other out, not making it worse. You know what I'm saying? So forgive me if that's the way I'm thinking, but it is the way I'm thinking. We should all be helping each other out. If I could put you all on my Costco cart, <laughs> I'll, just, I'll be serious. My uh, friend, who did I? The lady who I interviewed who did not end up working for me, okay? And I even said that night, I said, if you have Costco, and she said, yeah, we, I do. And I said, yeah, I was asking. So if you needed to ever get anything, you live in my community, I'll help you out. Who does that? She didn't even come on board. I had already extended that much love to someone I hardly knew. And she didn't even come on board. Like, come on, people. You know what I mean? OK. There's one thing I have to do. There is one thing I have to do before I can start.
If you're just joining us, please be sure to check us out at myfavoritegroomer.com. While you're here watching, if this is something that you're going to learn a lot from, or just the approach, or just what she before and after, what she's going to look like, be sure you hit that like button for me. I appreciate y'all out there. And again, if you guys want to donate, it's right there in the messenger. You can message and donate. MP, thank you for your donation. Content creators make donations to keep going and support what we do on YouTube. So thank you so much. Equipment costs money. Time costs money. And yes, it's a groom, but bringing it to you live, showing you, teaching you, just being effervescent and letting you see every detail of a groom is really something that's hard to find. So thank you for joining so I have her down as a non-biter, and in that case, I'm not going to cone head her or anything right Oh, actually. Didn't I say cone head for her feet? Yep, I did. So we'll do a cone head for her feet, just in case they're extremely matted. And we'll see. We'll just see. We'll go with the flow here. We'll go with the flow. All right, baby. Just for your feet. I'm going to start on your feet, because I have a 40 blade on my clipper. To save me time, I'm going straight into the feet. Here we go. She's so tall that I could probably put a large dog up stand under her. And she's so tall that she can look around. So keep your eye on yourself. Digging out mats is painful, so watch it. She has a lot of headroom to whip back and nip my nose. The nicest dog in pain will do what an animal needs to do to let you know to stop. Mats are painful, period. And if she doesn't buck that, I've got a bunch of videos where they do. When they're matted, it is painful on the removal. Like the proof is out there. I've been recording so long. If you want to see a mean matted dog, go ahead. Go ahead and look it up. I've got tons of matted dogs that were, have been through a lot. And those of you, I had two dogs, two Shih Tzus, Duke and Suey. Suey would let you know something he didn't like. Duke would not do nothing. The same incident, the same thing, the same food, the same injury, like everything. Duke was silent. He would not complain. Suey would let me know. One would be upset, one would not. It doesn't mean that it doesn't hurt. It just, I don't complain, okay? Duke would not complain. I got a tin blade on. Um, we did, last time she was mad, which is five months ago, we did a seven body, which I did a seven body because I hate, I really hate the tin blade on some dogs, right? But safety first. If I can get through the seven again on the body, I will, but... We'll, we'll just go at it. I'm going to read what I did last time one more time. Matted seven all over, ten ears, seven top of ears. Okay, four guard down, teddy bear head. So let's see if we can get the seven through the coat first. And then, we, again, we need to start over and we need to be in a better position and not keep coming back like this for the, for the dog's sake. All right? I'll let you guys see it on this side. You guys, hi. Yeah, look how matted this is. Can you see? It's extremely matted. So, safety first, uh, the t especially around the neck. You might come 10, but I'm going to come over here. Because why? The teeth on the 7 are wider than the 10. The, s the skin will pull on the mat, and boom, go straight in. Let's go straight in my clipper. So let's start back here. Yeah, this is all matted, all up in here. She was wearing a harness. The harness rubbing around like this will cause it to be matted up there. Because this starts like right there and forward. 
Okay, so let's start back here. Let's just try it. I'm just, just try it. I got you guys with me. Let's give you some entertainment. Seven down here. We're going under all the mats. Try the mat right there. I'm gonna skip it. I'm gonna skip that. Move forward here. You can feel it. If you catch a mat, it's gonna go thunk, thunk. Don't keep going, it might pull skin. Those are all mats right there. Little funkiness, dirty, you know? Can't wait to get her bathed. Seven blade, five speed clipper. One, I'm, so if I'm a seven blade, I'm right there. It's like, okay, I'm not gonna do the sanitary with a seven blade. So I wanted to call that out. Be sure to check us out at myfavoritegroomer.com. Check out our newsletter. That means when you get there, it's going to say, type in your email, click the button at the bottom that says yes. When I come see you, I want you to know I'm in your state. So be sure you put down yes, okay? Jerk, jerk. I'm skipping everything. So in my mind, I'm see all these mats, all these spots, boom, boom, and then all that. Boom, there's my answer is I need to do a 10 blade. We can sit here and try to save a millimeter or two, but at the end of the day, it's a waste of my time. So over here especially. So I just wanted to test it and show you. That's, what I, that's how I would handle it. Like, do I really need to take all that hair? Yes, now we do, we really do. So I'm not gonna waste any more time trying to show you what we can save. There's way too many mats here. Especially, it goes like all that, right? Because of the harness. Because of the harness, it goes like all that. And then you have just spots of this, especially this, this piece right here is like your armpit, right? Or right here, feel me out. Pull your leg back and feel that right between your privates. That skin right there is so thin and sensitive. If you slapped it, someone slapped your armpit, it actually hurts. So if this piece of skin right here you ain't gonna do a seven. You need to be careful. It'll cut right into that joint, that loose skin that we're all the joint, right? Okay. So um, I want to show you guys real quick before I take it off. How do you know? Because Dad said um, she's matted a little bit here and there, and I, I said no, she's matted everywhere. So when you're brushing, if you can't bring your comb through, I'm gonna be real with you. If you can't pull your comb through, okay, it's matted. And it might be just tangled up a little bit, not totally like a carpet yet. You need to brush and then come back through with your comb. Comb don't lie. Okay, brush does all the work, all right? So here, boom, look at all that. Boom. This is all matted. That's all matted. Okay, let's check here. Oh yeah, from the skin out on the, on the legs right there, boom. Boom. 
I'm trying to see if I can get anything through. There you go. When you have when you have a spot that's not matted, it will go straight through. I just want you to know that and see it. Like everything may not be matted, but if it is, you're gonna know right there. Boom. Okay, look at all this. This is carpet right here. Tease your hair for months, five months actually. She hasn't been groomed in five months. Tease your hair for five months, and every day you're gonna have a little pain. I promise you that. And you're talking to someone who had long hair to my butt most of my life, okay? As an adult in my 30s and 40s, that's when I decided I'm done with the hair thing, I'm getting a haircut. And I just slowly kept cutting my hair until I felt like this is where I wanna be. But I grew up with really long hair. And brushing it in the shower with conditioner was the awesomest way to get everything through. Because I had curly hair, I had a perm. You feel me? So let's go ahead and move to our 10 blade. Quit wasting time. Now I'll start with the neck and move back. Underneath the mat, butter bro. MyFavoriteGroomer.com, five speed, 10 blade. If you start dragging, you've got problems. Call me, text me, I'll try to coach you. Shop with me and then I coach you like no problem. Don't shop with me, then I'm gonna send you some links, but call the people you buy the equipment with. They should be helping you if you're buying from them. And believe it or not, like I am going short, but in some areas I'm not pushing all the way down. I don't, I don't really love to do this on her. She's thin hair, you know. It's curly and it's matted, but it's, it's thin. It's thin. You don't have to push all the way down to the skin. Of paper don't cut take that piece of paper come in like that don't do that come at a whole nother angle I hate this part. I hate it when it's matted digits in between the, if it's matted in here, hate that. It's so painful. Okay, we'll come back to it. We'll come back to that. Let's just finish up your body here. See how mad this is? There's no way I can't go all the way down to the skin. I have to. So see how this is all the way down to the skin? And this is not. So that's how heavy-handed I'm doing it here to get down underneath. 
versus here. You can see I'm actually intentionally trying to leave a little bit more hair, even though I am using a 10. That's what I mean by kind of lightly bringing it off. Because now I'm not going to actually even this up. I might come in like even this up right here. But I'm actually, I really, it's okay. It's matted. It was matted. And we took it off. And now we have to grow out. But this way, her body stays warm. It, we got cold again today. It's raining out in Texas. Whereas if it was in the summertime, yeah, I would take it all the way down like a 10. Just don't, don't let her be outside for too long with no shade, you know? When you have, I'm going to mention this while I work. When you have a dog, every time I stop, some of y'all want me to shut up and keep going. Shut up. Every time I stop, I'm letting my blade kind of keep cool. I'm keeping it at a steady balance of heat. I'm giving her body a rest. It's a quick rest. There's a rhyme and reason to what I'm doing. Okay? So when, so right back up, break, and then go back at it. If you're down here, hi, baby. You're doing so good, you're doing so good. Yeah, you're doing so good. Down here on the sensitive areas, on the high knee, private areas, armpit. When you have a matted dog for a long time, that feels heavy like wearing a hat, like a snow hat, like a ski hat, like a thick hat for months. And then you take it off and all of a sudden, all the wind and the coolness of living, you can feel it. So sometimes the dog will leave the groomer after all that hair has come off and start scooting their hiney on the carpet. Have you ever scooted your hiney on the carpet? I'll tell you, you're gonna get rug burn. Okay, how about knee burn? Rug burn, knee burn, knee burn, right? So don't let your dogs lick themselves because it's fresh over and over. Don't let your dogs rub their butt on the carpet over and over. Don't do that. If you're having a problem, let's get you a cone head. Let's get an ear cover, you know, the hoodie. Or let's get something that can help you. They have tools out there that can help your dog. But don't just watch it happen until there's rug burn and now you're dealing with the hot spot on the high knee. That's just super painful. He just pulled out all that. He just pulled out all of that. Here, here, come here. Let's do this. Let's just, you know, I'll let you hang out like that for a second. That's how loose it was? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Are you helping me? You're so sweet. Thank you. Can I go up here? This is your opportunity. If you work hard to do some squats, this is your opportunity to get some exercise while you're grooming. Bring yourself down to eye level.
here, let's start over. And forward. Clipper blade's warm. Let's go ahead and switch the clipper blade out. Uh, that sucks. Look how mounted that is. Like, she didn't come in with clothing, but wearing clothing, if you're not taking the clothing off every day and every night, brush to brush, this could potentially be what happens. So you guys remember Millian, the multi poo that jumps around, flies around on the table, and sometimes bites. So Millian is also a multi poo. She's also a multi poo. She favors her attitude towards the poodle. She doesn't fly around the table. That's a Maltese. So if you like Maltese, that's what they do. The white, small, cute. That's what they do. They fly around the table and all that. But this is how a poodle acts in most cases. Isn't that cool? Including doodles in most cases. Up, up, good girl, good girl, up, up, good girl. So right there, just take your finger and hook it inside the groom loop. It's loose, but this way you can kind of at least move her head like that without having to hold chin hair. I do more of that than ever holding chin hair now. And I was trained to hold chin hair when I worked at PetSmart. So chin hair and they're jerking and all that. I actually do this more than I do the chin hair thing now. And if it's too loose, you tighten it up and really get movement on the face, not holding the chin hair, okay? Now armpit's a real tough area, man. It's a, it's a real tough, real tough area to groom. Matted is, is makes it really bad. Much worse. Pet parents, I know you're watching. If you're on your social media, you can right there chat with the live chat on your phone. If you have, pull it up on your phone, you'll be able to chat. What I wanted to ask you is put out there, how old is she? Two years old? I can't remember. Um, put out there if you're watching and you can get on your social media, go to My Favorite Groomer, subscribe, like, and then type in the live chat. Because the owners are watching right now.
my clippers on and off, on and off, keeping that blade. If I'm, it's not on the body, let's. If I'm moving around, turn it off so the blade st doesn't keep getting hot. Moving engines, moving parts, moving metal to metal is going to get hot. Even moving metal to ceramic is going to get hot but slower. And I moved my arm for you guys so you can guys get a better view. I moved it to this side of the table, which I'm not used to. Watch the nipples. That's why I like going slow right up under the tummy there. Look at all that hair, man. Woo! We're getting down to the nitty gritty, aren't we? Yes, we are. 50 of you guys out there, please hit that like button for me. If you're enjoying the content, and everyone donate a dollar, man. Then I'll get that camera right on the, it's, it's a wireless $300 camera. I can put it right on the table for you. I got so much equipment, it's just insane. <laughs> but it's all very expensive. And it's funny how you still need more, right? You still need that one more angle, that one more face-to-face, -face, that freaking one more thing. Look over here, girl. Look over here. Hey, Marley. Hi. Good girl. Look over here for me. We're going to come back and do clean feet, or at least as much as I can get all. Her name is Marley. Uh, I want to do not necessarily clean feet, but all the feet are matted in between the toes, okay? Dolce, thank you. She's a year and four months. She is so lovely, isn't she? She's such a kind dog. Switch back to our now cool 10 blade. And let's double check. Let's go under her tummy and finish that off. Don't do that. Don't do that. Right here. Look at me. Look at me. Marley, look at me. Look at me. Good. You're not looking at me, but you're listening. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. All right, let's check out the tail here. something with the tail. Let's go. You curling your tail. You're so cute. The base of the tail is kind of needs brushing, but let's see if uh, we can just do a four guard all the way. Like, let's just check.
take our comb, let's check it out. Comb will go through, the guard will go through. You can hand scissor it, I'm gonna do a guard, four guard. So it's even all over the place and I can go fast. Now, as the tail grows back, what happened was the last time the, it was matted, so the base was a little shorter. The base grows out short, the, the rest of it's long. The long mats the short. The long says, hey, short hair, you're new here. This is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to start being long, and it's not long. So then it grabs that short hair as life happens with the dog, running around, sleeping, cuddling, wearing clothes, running, you know, going outside, rain, sunshine, all that stuff. The short hair starts saying, hey, I'm here. The long hair says, hey, you're here. You need to do this. And starts moving that short hair around because the long hair is all over it. When that long hair does that, it mats up the short hair. So now I've taken it all down to the foreguard. And as it grows out together, it should not mat up unless they're not brushing at all. So instead of just taking down that real tangled area and leaving everything else a little longer, now, we now have all the same length. It should easily grow back all the same length, okay? That's why I did that. Thank you so much for your donations. I appreciate you. Thank you, Pookie Puppy, for your donation. Thank you so much. I love you. Okay, we're about to get down to the nitty gritty. Let's look at our file one more time. It's only been 34 minutes. I feel like I've been going really slow. So let's go with seven all over. Boom, 10 ears. We did a 10 all over. We did not do a seven. We did a 10 because we did a seven at first and it was still matted in a lot of areas. We just took it all down with a light 10. I did not do it heavy handed. We're gonna now attempt to do the ears. I'll check the ears with the brush and comb and see if I can do say a seven or maybe four guard. I hesitate as I groom a dog that's matted because if they come in this condition in five months again, I wish I would have just taken it off. And then four guard down teddy bear head. So that's what we did back in September 2022. And today is February 2023, February 7, 2023. All right, let's just actually, let's just take it. Let's just go with our four guard. Our four guard is a comb and it will tell me if there's a knot, and I'm gonna to have to stop and just do something different. So let's start there. Usually I say brush, but hey, we, let's just try it. And then don't push hard. We don't wanna pull the, any skin into the clipper blade. And I'm using a tin blade, not any other blade underneath my guards, okay? Tin blade, four guard. I sell all the equipment that I'm telling you how to use at myfavoritegroomer.com. Come out, support us, shop, have fun with it. Here we go. Let's go four guard down the ears. Nicely. Very nice. Nice. Great. And we're going to come trim ear, round ear. Here we go. Go this one. Marley seriously almost has some dreadlocks up here, huh? This curliness, seriously. Does it not add up? And then Marley being like, Bob Marley, no offense if that offends anybody, but Bob Marley being so relaxed and cool, you know. Mm. Some of the best music in the world. You name your dogs how you want them to act, I promise you, I've seen it all these years, they do act like how you name them. You want, I want to name him, you know, Speedy Gonzalez, he's gonna act like a Speedy Gonzalez.
Right where that ear meets the face, go out. Don't go, don't suck in that ear on accident. We're doing a four guard regular teddy bear head. So this is what we're gonna do. It took five months to look like what it was right before I started, okay? Five months. Since we did a 10 down, right here I can go, I see some light mass and it's going, it's working. Right here I can go reverse because we did a 10 down here. It'll add up. How does it look? How are we looking? We're about to see some eyes, huh? I don't like not seeing my dog's eyes at all, ever. So, pet parents, I'm telling you. Come monthly or honestly, be like, hey, I can't see your eyes. Can I come in just for a face trim? Okay. We're going to take all that with the tin. So let me just do the cheeks here. Some of y'all want to know how to get rid of that tear stains? I'm going to show you right now. Shave it out. Shave it out monthly. The very beginning of this video, I told you other things to do. At the end of the day, we're gonna shave all this out because we are not gonna wash all that out. It ain't gonna wash out in a, in a month. Hey, just saying, for real. It does have a smell to it, okay? And then what happens is what might be hard to do, it may take a long time, but what, what's hard to do is now the skin is stained too. Okay, right eye and left eye. I'm gonna keep those. Cover my finger like that. Stretch it and make it close your eyes. And we'll finish a lot of it in the tub. We'll wa wash this real good, but it ain't gonna come out. We took all the hair, it's nasty, all that, but this stain is not gonna just disappear. Now it's gonna take time. Wash the face uh, twice a day for six months and then let's reevaluate. But if you don't do it every day, then what's the point? Might not see a difference at all. Do it once a week, you're not going to see a difference. You know what I'm saying? All that's maroon in the front face because it goes into the mouth, causing the mouth teeth to possibly become rotten. So we want to make sure we capture as much of that as possible. Change the subject, all those sounds got her to kind of focus on something else and I can kind of get in there and secretly grab some of that stuff.
here, honey. A lot of head movement. She has a, she's doing really good, don't get me wrong, but I'm just painting the sand. A lot of head movement. Be careful. She came in, they were early. I said, hey, do a 15 minute walk for me. She walked, got some exercise, doing real good, right? good enough right now let's trim our ears actually let me check the heat of the template let's go ahead and switch it up and do a fresh cool template and we'll shave the inside of her ears and we did a four guard on top of her head and on top of the ears and down the chin reverse four guard on the chin basically Not an area to jerk. No jerky jerk. Alright, we're gonna grab the leather of the ear and we are going to trim around. Holding the leather. Let's start over here. Holding the leather here. If your ear folds and you don't want it to fold, move it, but hold the leather so you do not cut the ear. I love saying that, but it's the truth. Like so many people come in telling me how an ear was cut off. Half of an ear was cut off. Chunk of an ear was cut off, like literally. And I'm wondering, what are we doing wrong in how we explain how to hold the ear? Like, what are we doing? It's very common. It's easy that this back piece will fold. Don't let the back piece fold. You hear? <laughs> this will fold. Get it out of your way if it's folding. Don't like accidentally, because as long as your scissor is, it can, I'm here, but it, maybe it folded in and I'm not even paying attention because I'm looking at what I'm cutting. It folded in. Don't let it fold and then cut that. See how it's folding here? Keep your scissor here. Trim what's in your fingertips only. Don't cut the chunk of the ear of the dog. Don't do that. And if you do, you will pay the veterinarian bill. No one else. You alone. And that might be a free groom. For real. If it were you, what would you expect? Sorry, it's the truth. And they may never come back, but that's on you. That's just, you learned the hard way. You had to learn the hard way. 
two hour matted dog, you cut the ear off. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You better, that better be a free groom and you better have insurance and you better be taking them right to the veterinarian right then and there, period. You're not, not liking it. I'm sorry. It's not your dog. Um, it's your business. And you know, at least you did the right thing. Because the fact is, when they leave a review, it's going to be like, she cut my ear dog off. But my ear, the ear, sorry, let me back up. She cut my dog's ear off. That's a fact. They, that's not an anger or mad. That's just, she did, right? If that happens, and someone, you can't get mad. And, and people do. Groomers, people get mad. It's like, but you did that, though. If you make a mistake, you've got to own it. And not everyone's going to do that. So it is what it is. Don't cut the ear off. I don't know how to say it. It's just don't. Like I'm saying, don't click the vein. Don't. Don't know what you're doing? Come. I've been telling you for years. Come get some training. That's why y'all need to share it because the groomers are busy. They ain't watching these videos. And some of them are self-taught, teaching themselves. You think that teaching yourself goes with no mistakes? If I teach myself how to groom in a garage or in my backyard or in a shed, do you think that comes with no mistakes? Come on, people, common sense now. Mistakes come and it's like, damn. Damn, I cut that dog's ear off. What do I do? No one's teaching her. No one's teaching him. No one's setting an example. They're not part of any education group. You know what I'm saying? They're just wanting to do something they think looks fun and cool and they love animals. So they cut their ears off and like what? It's a different kind of love right there, bro. Let's get a backyard doctor. No, they wouldn't they wouldn't allow us to be a backyard doctor. But you know what's funny though? I say all these things to put thoughts in your head so you can make your own opinions and be like so you know. There's a lot of things that we do with animals that are we do at home. Uh, especially if you live in certain states that allow it, because especially if there's a lot of country animals, they got feed stores for a reason. You can get everything you need almost. You can even go get antibiotic for your, for uh, over-the-counter antibiotic at the feed store. Use it however you want, but that's the truth. You can, I can tell you, you can go and get antibiotic at the feed store right now. Don't get mad at the delivery person. You're in a pinch, everyone's closed, you don't have $600 to go to the ER, where are you gonna get your antibiotic? I'm sure you're gonna run into it when you do a search that you can get it at a feed store or tractor supply. All right, how are we looking? How y'all, what do you think? How are we looking here? The last thing we need to do is matted feet. Matted feet, y'all. I'm actually going to take a seven blade and come through with some of the unevenness because there's areas I have to go all the way down to the ten and, and shorter. I'm going to take a seven and take up some of this uh, white hair hanging out. You're not going to be able to tell. Especially when there's a curl, you know. You almost can't tell it's super, severely matted there, huh? you see it but what really helps me not get tangled up is my monkey cord my cord cover so if you need one please get one if you order for the five speed you may need three
so pretty. You know, I can't believe how you look right now. All right, this is the nitty gritty. Okay, this is the this is the nitty gritty right here. All your toes. Please, 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 please don't get too mad, okay? Please don't get too mad, okay? You're leaning into me? It's so loose. It don't even. I'm not even worried about how tight it is. I will. Okay, Tim Lee. Let's a mini. I was looking for a mini. In case I need to use that to spread your feet. Tin blade or blade if necessary. Let's go at it with the tin blade first. Hey Alyssa, check out that pit mix I have having puppies, baby. If you're just joining us, check us out at myfavoritegroomer.com and also if you don't mind, hit the like button and the subscribe. Spreading it with my finger in her pad. You got this girl, her, her um, she's kicking off on my back side, which can cause a scratch, but she's just softly doing it. Like, oh no, like, oh no, right? Like that feeling. She's got her head tucked down like, oh gosh. Mm-hmm. 
Wait a second. While we wait, let's turn this little something, something right here. Can I get in here? Let me see. This is a lot. This is a lot. I got I don't know that I'm breathing. <laughs> Am I breathing? Woo! Let's do this. Woo! We're about to be done right now. Bring it in like this. Put your hand here. Put your clipper here. And then let go. I need to go find that song. 
This is the last one, then we're done. Done, done. I'll see y'all hasta luego tomorrow. Tonight, I'll see you tonight. Way in the puppies. It's one thing to do clean feet. It's another to actually do clean feet because they're matted, okay? It's two totally different things. Can it just come off? See, it, you don't need much. You just need to be able to help her react like, and keep everybody safe in case she did want to bite. That cone head, she was such a good dog. He was just kind of just there for a quick whip back, whip back. Whip back. No, not the other. I am in Texas. Not the other, not that. No, sir. So she walking around in her hair, it's kind of hard to see what's still attached. So sweep all her feet and everything. Let's look, there's a little piece right here I want to get. Okay. You get it all now, you don't have to get it all later at all. That's the beauty of when you do short haircuts. You don't have to come back very and do very much at all, if, that, if at all. If you do the cleanup, which means all my work is done, right? And anything after is just if I want to, or if it's just because it's dirty and it kind of this and that. Well, what do you think? What y'all think? It was great hanging out with you. It's been I've been hanging out with y'all every day, all day and night. So please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you on the next live video. Hey, baby girl. Hey, baby girl. And when you take pictures, it's kind of cool because then you can come back and actually see a couple things that you know your eyes didn't see. I hope you enjoyed watching today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be right back to chit-chat with you guys. I'm going to talk to the client. I may do a bath. I may not. I'm going to let them decide, and then I will come back and just kind of recap the live chat. If you want to hang out, be right back. If I go to the bath, I will come back and let you know. That'll be, it's like an eight-minute, eight-minute break.
Okay, you guys, who did you stay around for me? I'm so sorry. We got to talking about all kinds of stuff. And I gave him a really good break. I just felt like a budget was in the air. And so I gave him a such a, I gave him a really good break. And then they tipped me generously. So thank you so much. I just hope that everyone can see. Y'all true big fans that watch every day and every night, you know me. But some people don't. And those people probably aren't even watching still because they wouldn't have did nothing on the table. They're gone. But even if I can't pay some things myself, like, I still see where someone else can't either. And just like, remember that, was it a Maltese? And I, did, I think, did we do it for free? And, um, you know, you just, God's got me. God's got me. Uh, he's put people like you in my life, and wow, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. So let's recap this uh, live chat real quick. It's 122, so 12 to 1, 122. That was not even like a two-hour groom. I just asked, they, they didn't, we didn't bathe, they'll bathe at home. And I did that to undercut their bill by a big amount. And then they, like I said, then they just generously tipped me. So And then they bought something. So wow, yeah, baby. So, so cool. So um, let me go back all the way to the top of our live chat here. Thanks for joining. I appreciate you guys. Hit that like button for me. Daniel, Daniel is on point. Every time he comes through, he's like New Zealand. So I freaking, I know Daniel Brown, New Zealand. What's up, New Zealand? MP Grandma Shell. Hey, everybody. MP again, thank you for your donation. Pookie Puppy, what's up? We got some moderators in the house. How's that? How was the feed, y'all? Lisa, hey, what's up? Daniel, thumbs up to you too, baby. Come, Buffy, it was so, I don't know if Buffy's still there, but hey, girl, it's been a long time coming, baby. Miss you. Miss you. Everyone misses Buffy. Buffy has been one of the, our first time MP, Buffy, our first time um, mem channel members, and we need to, I actually, I'm going to do it for you. There's a few channels, it's been years now. And there's need, I need to have a five year and a four, you know what I mean? So the logos will come, I promise you, this week. I'm going to work on it. This week I'm going to have some other logos for you guys, our, all our members. Buffy says, um, hello MP, if I did, as Dee Dee recommended, were the fun of picking eye boogers. Ooh. Hi Buffy, how are you today? Good morning. Daniel, you, man, he's just, the, he makes sure everyone's comfortable. He's like, hey, take a seat. Would you like coffee or tea? Love you, Daniel. I got it. Send me a picture, please. I need a picture. Mail me a picture. Mail me a, a package that has uh, information about you, a letter, and a picture of you and your dog. Mail that to me so I can start pinning them up on a fan wall, honestly. So I know what Daniel looks like. I know what Pookie looks like. I know what MP looks like. I know what Buffy looks like. Uh, my top fans, your family, when we delivered them puppies, y'all need to be on my fan wall, like my fam, family wall, okay? Send me, it's the fan mail address is in the description of the video. Send me a picture of you and your pets and a letter, okay? So I can be posting this. I'll be like, Daniel, New Zealand, you know. Hey, Lisa, how's it going? Pookie, I'd love to see a picture of you with long hair. Okay, you got it, baby. You got it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post that baby on Facebook for you. Um, a dog is very chill. This dog, a year and a half, a year and four months. This is the dog you breed, right? This, this demeanor is what you want to see out there. Sue, we did not do a bath. I gave them a really budgetable groom today to help them. It's a young couple. And I'll show you a little clip here in just a second if you're out there. Dolce was the owner. And thank you so much for your comments, Dolce. What is her name? Uh, I, I answered you already, Grandma Shell. She is such a sweetie. Hey, Tracy, I saw you. Tracy, at 4 in the morning, you on my feed? Hi, Didi. Hope you're okay after the crazy puppy's birth. I am still trying to get sleep, but I got, I'm got. i getting a little bit more sleep every day. Jason, what's up? Hi, Didi. My name is Danielle Riley. Hey, Jason and Danielle Riley. I've been watching your show for a long time now. They're really entertaining. Laugh out loud. I saw the video of the puppies being born. Mamacita done amazing. Woo! Jason and Danielle, thank you so much. Jason says, or I, I'm going to always say that, Danielle. I mean, she took it like a champ. Yes, she did. She is a good mama, Sita. Alyssa says, I have a French bulldog. I hope you went and checked out my bully. Um, she is doing really good, by the way. 
Daniel says, uh, you're doing a good job going, going dogs. You love, you love show. Love you. That's what happens when you come from New Zealand. This baby is so good, Pookie Puppy says. You're a good singer, dogs. Um, I love you, Daniel. I think you're using, are you using a translator? <laughs> uh, yo mama said, that was great. So much work for this puppy. Take care. Thank you, yo mama. Lee, hey, Lee, are you still out there? Hi, all, after 6 a.m. here, and I'm so happy to see Dee Dee live. Woohoo! Yeah, baby. Go back and watch the very beginning, Lee. You're awesome. You deserve that tip. Thank you, yo mama. That's so funny to say that. Yo mama, mm hmm. I'm yo mama, and yo mama's yo mama, and yo mama, yo mama. Lee, Lee says, Dee Dee, you're, it's, you've inspired me to get my grooms down to an hour. The dogs are much happier. Thank you. You got it, baby. If you need anything, please message me. Pookie Puppy, again, thank you so much for your donation. I love you. Let me grab a look at Facebook. <laughs> and so I don't forget about, I'm laughing because I always forget about Facebook. So Facebook, I need to get my own. Send me a device for Facebook. I'm just kidding. Jennifer Torres, thank you so much for being on Facebook. Hey, girl. Julie, hey, what's up? She um, cued Rachel Louise White. Uh, good cue or bad cue, not sure. And then, I mean, there's not very much chat. You deserve the tip. Yay, thank JT. Thank you, JT. All right, it looks like we're good here. Did you, I just got to show you. Look at this. Look how this is the eyes. Mm -mm. Let me pull up one little, little thing that was said here out in the lobby. And remember I tell you guys, dogs, there's a lot of things I do, right, for a reason. She pooped right in the lobby. We only had her on the table for like an hour, hour and 20 on the feed, but an hour, right? An hour and 40, oh no, an hour and 10 or whatever. That, then they did a 15 minute walk before coming in. So on younger dogs, you don't have the time that you think you should, two, three, five hour grooms, and you don't wanna have the liability of going out and walking the dog. I'm telling you, they have to go potty. They're, 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 Nerves are heightened, their bowels are moving. They're not calm, I don't live with the dog. The dogs don't live with me, I'm not their family member. We go through a lot, I'm dematting and shaving mats and it's painful. They are already uncomfortable. So when they're uncomfortable, it's gonna happen. And that just goes, a young dog needs less time. And if that means cutting out the bath that time, then by all means, cut it out. Talk to the client. I gave them the option. I said, we could do this or this. What would you like to do? So you, if you're watching and you're grooming dogs, this is something you can implement in your business. It's your business. It's your client. And it's the client's dog. So between you doing the work and the owner of the dog, you guys can make up a game plan that works for everybody. Okay? Don't be afraid to negotiate your terms, but also ask what's best for the pet and if you see something that they don't normally traditionally see, or they might not see, this is not what they do. You know, they're not the groomer. They're not seeing everything I'm seeing or that you're seeing. Ask or just tell. Sometimes you don't need to ask. You tell them how it is. Like, I'm not doing that again. I'm not. I'm not doing that again. Here's a brush and a comb. It's 20 bucks. Go brush and comb. D-mat. Here's this. Go handle the, what you can and come back. I, I can't. And so be honest. Honesty builds clients for life. So let me show you something before I let you guys go. I just recorded them out in the lobby. So cute, man, they are so cute. Such a cute couple. They allowed me to air this and this will come on one of our seasons soon. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Can I use this? <laughs> oh my god. Oh Dude, my god. Oh, oh my god. god. What oh the? My god. You know, he says he lets, uh, he, sh he said, she'll lick me for hours. And again, I gotta go back to that movie called The Truth About Dogs and Cats, where the guy calls in to the, the veterinarian on the radio. It's just funny because of what I do now in my life, that that was one of my favorite movies. I had it on VHS. And if you haven't watched it, go try to look it up for free. Find it somewhere to watch it. It's such a good movie. It's a good movie. One of those movies you want to buy, right? The truth about cats and dogs. And 
there's a client that calls in, uh, a, a listener calls in on that radio, the veterinarian's on air, she's like on air, and the question is like, uh, my cat licks me and I've got now this raw, all over my face and my face is raw. So that is real life, people. There are animals that lick you that much. And so the veterinarian on the movie is like, well, like, what, what, what's going on here? Like, is there something going on? This and that. And, he, and then she gets to the point where she's like, well, how, like, wait, wait, wait. How long is the cat licking your face? And he's like, three, four, sometimes five hours, you know? And so a cat's tongue, including a dog, but the cat's even stronger. The cat's tongue, when they lick you, it feels like sandpaper. They have to clean everything. Dogs clean some things, but we clean the dogs for them. Cats clean everything, so their tongue has to be like a scraper. We need to scrape all this gunk off the coat. We need to scrape all this poo off the poo areas. We need to scrape all this off. But the dog's tongue is not as rough as a cat's tongue because they get help. They get our help. But it's still a little rough. But the cat licking his face until it's raw, Iconic. It's so funny. Go watch that movie. It's so funny. Man, you know what? You guys want to watch the movie together live? And um, what we'll do is like we'll be on the couch. We'll watch the movie together. And then that whoever watches that movie with me that night, that does not get put on YouTube. It's just as soon as it's done, it comes off of off of YouTube. So we could chill, eat popcorn, ice cream, you know, have the dogs hanging out and we can look at me, my dog. You know, we can all watch that movie. You all want to do that? You guys want to have a movie night? I would love to have a movie night with you guys. I gotta pull out. Uh, I don't have a VHS player anymore. I gotta see if I have that on DVD. Seriously. Yeah. Let's have a movie night. All right, you guys. I'm gonna let you go. Cute. Love your show. Thank you, Daniel. Are you on tonight? I should be on tonight weighing some puppies. And uh, yes, yo, mama, you would come so I could plan a movie night. Okay. It'll. I think I can plan it, and then you guys can see it. But make sure you're subscribed. I might just do a short that says, hey, movie night's going to be on this night. So you can chime out. But you guys will be able to watch the movie through my lens, right? Watch the movie and we watch it together. But you see me too. Something like that. Yo, mama, where are you at? What state or country? And that's it. I guess I'm going to let you go. So have a great day. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later on when we see the puppies. And I just, I'm so blessed to have you in my life. Thanks so much for for being here. Check us out at myfavoritegroomer.com. Hit the like, subscribe, and share, and don't forget to hit all so you know when movie night comes about. Love you. We'll see you soon.